Hey YouTubers, it's Chris. In this video I'm going to talk to you about LED strip lights, how easy they are to use and what applications you can use them for. Alright, let's talk basics with LEDs. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. It's a little chip that emits some light. You can have um, either a primary single color, you know, yellow, red, green, blue, you name it, or you get chips that actually have uh, with them uh, the red, green, and blue chip, and they actually produce anything in the color spectrum. The great thing about most of these strip lights is you can actually cut them every um, either three lights or every nine lights, or there are other variations, but they're the typical ones. There's a few different type of LED strip lights you can buy. You've got 5050s, uh, 3528s, um, there's a brand new ultra bright version called 3020s and 3014s. And what they actually really represent is actually the size of the chip, the diode itself. So the 5050s, which I've got um, a total of two 5 meter reels in my home theater, um, are actually 5 by 5 millimeters. And well, lo and behold, 3528s are 3.5 by 2.8 millimeters in size. And what that means to you and me is that the bigger the chip, the bigger the light output. So you get a little bit more luminosity. The thing to look for when you're buying LED strip lights is the number of diodes per meter or foot. Uh, the sort I've got, I've got 60 diodes per meter. Um, you can get less than that, you can get more than that, but um, essentially the more diodes you have, the greater the lumens you're going to have. So when you're purchasing your LED strip lights, which by the way you can either get from uh, um, your electrical specialist, um, maybe your electrician might sell them, well, but I reckon where he's getting them from is probably eBay. Um, uh, they come typically with a low voltage adapter, um, in my case a 12 volt 6 amp adapter, um, and an infrared controller, and um, an infrared remote control. As I said earlier, you can actually cut the LED strip lights every 3 or 9 diodes, and um, so I did that with two of my sets in my home theater, and you can buy over the internet um, some joiners, um, some uh, clips that are solderless and they can join the two different sets together and all you have to do there is just line up the red, green and blue in the fourth channel and it's easy as, you don't have to have any soldering um, technique or knowledge or equipment, it's great, nice easy product to work with. So let's have a look at some of the equipment that I've got in my home theatre for the LED strip lights. Here's one of the adapters and attached to that, that white box, is the infrared controller. With the LED lights I got, I got a 44 key infrared remote. This has got a fade, flash, and primary color modes. So what I'm doing here is I'm simulating where my Harmony Hub will be sitting uh, on the left-hand wall, opposite to that shelf that you can see. The infrared receiver is picking up the commands, and that's a nice little flash mode moving into a fade mode and then to a solid color. The LED strip lights are very easy to work with. Um, they're very flexible, malleable and on the back they typically have a 3M self-adhesive tape which you just pull off the uh, backing of and you can stick it onto most surfaces. I found the LEDs didn't stick very well to the top of the screen which was velvet fabric, you know. Uh, so I found using craft glue actually worked a lot better um, and that's it also for the top of the pelmets um, where the curtains are. So just a little note, um, the 3M tape works very well onto painted surfaces, uh, maybe onto a laminate surface, uh, but not very well, very well on fabric or chipboard. In my next video I'll be showing you how to do speaker covers and as always don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. See you next time.